Now from a very public museum to a story about a more personal one. As this month marks the 50th anniversary of President Kennedy's assassination, we take you back to Overland Park to meet a man who, since childhood, has collected all things JFK. From buttons to banners to masks and even a famous wedding invitation, his basement collection is almost a museum in itself, as John McGrath and Lindsay Fote discovered. My name is Rick Kaplan, and I collect JFK memorabilia, and I've been collecting it for over 50 years. Okay, so let's go down and check it out. I'll invite you to my shrine uh, or museum, All right. as I'd like to think of it. I start his, the, my collection with the items from the uh, Democratic National Convention in Los Angeles in 1960. This is the rarest of all JFK magazines. It's the first magazine that he ever appeared on, and that was uh, in um, November of 1946, which would have made him 29 years old. So this is considered the most valuable and rare of all the magazines. Another big thing I cover is the debates. This poster was put out by Sylvania, and it was the, it's considered the first poster since um, the JFK debates were the first debates, and it was put out by Sylvania to advertise their silver screen 85 picture tube. This case is the one that the first two shelves are devoted to the assassination. These are some very rare items. Um, one of the more interesting items is this one right up in front, which, which is that on the day that JFK was assassinated, the ticket says, breakfast with President and Mrs. John F. Kennedy, Friday, November the 22nd, 1963, at the Grand Ballroom in the Hotel Texas, sponsored by the Fort Worth Chamber of Commerce. And I think that's really one of the coolest items that, that, that there is because for $3, you could have breakfast with him on the day he was assassinated. I think this is a real nice item. It's an invitation to JFK and Jacqueline's wedding on September the 12th of 1953. These are called gift prints, White House Christmas gift prints. And this is the 1961, 1962, and 1963 gift prints. These were not what they would give to donors. Uh, you know, they might send them a Christmas card. They would only print roughly 2,000 to 2,200 of these, and they would give them to staff and important people. I, I have uh, a, a, about a half a dozen American newspapers showing that J, yeah, uh, on the day of the or day after the assassination. A couple interesting ones. I have one from Hamburg, Germany, from Scotland. Then I have a magazine from uh, Paris, France on the assassination. This is the uh, program from Shawnee Mission North High School in 1958 when JFK came to uh, speak on behalf of uh, the Democratic candidate for the second congressional district, Newell George. The, uh, the program is autographed by JFK, which makes it especially unique and valuable. This is the actual poster from a movie theater advertising PT-109 with Cliff Robertson that, that JFK, uh, you know, depicted hit the PT-109 adventure. And these are lobby cards that were actually out in the lobbies advertising the JFK movie. Again, I really appreciate you coming out and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed it. I think it encompasses his political career pretty much from 1960, from the Democratic National Convention through the assassination and beyond. Many different commemorations of John Kennedy's life coming up this month, including Public Television's American Experience special, JFK. You can see it Monday, November 11th at 9 p.m. on KCPT. Here in town, a free event, an evening with Jack Kennedy, is being presented at Shawnee Mission East High School on Saturday, November 16th.